Good afternoon. Hope you're all well. Well, I'm uh, just in the middle of getting together all the video clips, making a start on the video from Santander. Um, so I thought I would give the one of the samples, uh, first impressions, one of the samples from the Nottingham Pipe Show. So I thought I would give the Perique Flake a little spin. So here it is very nice attractive looking flake and I don't know how old it is but it's already getting some sugars look at that it's already getting some sugars on it over there it's got an extremely pronounced barnyard aroma <coughs> there's a, a sort of a deep mulchy hay kind of aroma and um, something of a, a chocolatey cocoa, like a hot chocolatey aroma. <clears throat> and um, that kind of aroma, when it comes to perique, for me it bodes well. Um, when you get a, a perique which is extremely fruity and bright and um, uh, sort of astringent, it's it's that tends to to, to me anyway to indicate uh, something of a a blend which hasn't yet fully fermented um, and this the, the perique in this really just gives you that feeling that it's very well fermented it's a good quality perique so I'm just going to cut half a flake enough to give it a decent tasting it really has a texture of like a fudgy kind of texture it's um, it's almost sticky, but it's it's a moistness which is um, a moistness which is produced by how well this thing has been pressed, um, and it just gives you you know if you take a piece of chocolate fudge and you smush it between your fingers, um, it's obviously tobacco and not just a bit of dough, but um, so obviously you're having a harder texture when you when you're doing tobacco, but the the moistness of it, the humidity of it, is the same kind of texture. It's really very, very nice. So we do have to let it um, stay out for a bit, air out for a bit, and then uh, we shall come back. The flakes, the flake sizes that you get with a lot of the Gawath Hogarth um, loose tobaccos are really a generous size. And you know, if, if you're having a, a say a 20 minute smoke, a half a flake is enough. A full flake is really quite a lot of tobacco of those wide fl uh, long flakes. Okay, I'm smoking it in the uh, sink pipe. Nice Rhodesian, bent Rhodesian. There's some very nice grain on it. Um, I'm about 10 minutes into it. And it tastes very nice. Um, it's a uh, It's got quite a, a lot of depth to the flavour. <coughs> there is a, a, a bit of a fermented fruitiness to it as well. There's a, a little bit of a, a rich tanginess on the tongue, not a peppery. Um, sensation but there is sort of a rich tang on the tongue which sort of pinches on, on the on the tip of your tongue not a tongue bite it's in a good way but you get that fermented kind of um, flavor at the end on the finish so when you draw you get that sort of 
uh, sort of a barnyardy kind of flavour together with a bit of fruitiness, a bit of stone fruit, um, and a bit of a, f a fermented flavour. And then it finishes on that little bit of a tangy kind of flavour. I often struggle to describe, and there is a, a bit of a cocoa kind of flavour which runs through it all the way. I often struggle to describe uh, Perique blends, vapour blends, uh, Virginia Periques. And I think the best way that I can describe it is very much like its aroma, which is a, a, um, a barnyard, mulchy, sort of damp forest floor, um, together with some sweetness and some tanginess. A little bit of a cocoa flavour running through it. I did smoke some of the the other uh, sample that we got, which was the Virginia Perique Square Cut. Um, I only had a, I didn't do a video at the time. It was out in Santander when I did when I smoked it. Um, I may have said a few words about it during the video that I was talking when I was smoking it at the time. I think I may have said a couple of words, but I didn't do any kind of proper first impressions or anything like that. Um, I have to find out if it's the same stuff, just cut square. Um, I can't at the moment. I wasn't really focusing on it on it at the time, but it really, to my recollection, tastes very, very similar, if not the same. Um, so I'm wondering if it's the same flake, just cut differently, presented differently. Um, I'll have to check on that. Um, and if they are different, I'd have to do a back-to-back -to, -back to really see any di what the difference is. Um, because to me, this this um, uh, the vapor from Gawith Hagarth is, is tastes very very similar to um, the Asquith blend. And uh, the, the the blends of that ilk have a very similar DNA. Um, so it's very nice. I like the presentation of this. The, the way the the flake looks is fantastic. The way it feels is fantastic. The bag note was great. Um, combustibility is very good. The humidity is just right so that you can have it as humid and as dry as you like. Sometimes if you get a tobacco which is ready to smoke and it's quite dry, um, to rehumidify it would be a pain if you prefer to smoke your tobacco wet or a little bit uh, damp. So this arrives perfectly. You don't have to let it sit out like um, other Gawath Hagath blends and where you have to let it sit out, sit out for an hour. Although admittedly, I've had these baggies out um, for a while. They haven't really been kept in a jar or anything like that. But they certainly, it, it lends itself to just drying out perfectly to how you like it without it having to be let out for, uh, left out for a long time. I think I let mine sit out for 10 or 15 minutes. And it breaks down because of the sort of browny kind of texture. It, it sort of just you rubbing it between your fingers, it really breaks down to however small you, you want it. And you saw how I did it earlier on, and for me that worked absolutely perfectly. And 10 15 minutes on the tray, and ready to go. So I think I'll leave it there. It's very tasty, um, very nice. I think it, it, with a little bit of time it would be a lot better. I think it is still a bit rough around the edges, um, even though there was already some sugars crystallizing on, on those flakes, um, which would indicate either lots of sugar in there or that it has already got a little bit of age on it. But either way, I think time in the jar will do it wonders. Um, I think for me personally, I would like to see the Virginias um, sort of extricated a little bit in the flavor to somehow let them come out a little bit more to give a little bit more of the uh, 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 Virginia taste but other than that it's uh, very very nice um, and uh, if you like vapors you'll like this blend because it, it's not stand out for me I, I can't see any particular feature which makes it stand out from other Virginia Periques from English Virginia Periques you know the Gawath Hagarth ones um, they they would they are quite different to the ones that you get in America like the Cornell and Deal um, and GLPs type they're they they're a different breed to my taste um, the, the the vapors that you get here from Gawath Hagarth um, they they're they are different to me um, the, the 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 flakes are to my um, preference are far superior 
but that could just be the presentation and, and then it, it sort of gives it a much better feel um, I certainly prefer them that way um, the uh, vapor such as uh, first responders that kind of thing which I really do enjoy uh, very smooth very easy going vapor um, but it, it's it's just doesn't it, it hasn't got um, the richness um, which I enjoy in the English versions of the Virginia Perique brands um, but that's um, a different story anyway so that's um, Gawath Hagath uh, Virginia Perique flake very very nice um, I can see uh, that the the 1820 flake, the Penzance um, type blend has already gone off um, the GQ Tobacco's website. That seems to have sold out already. Um, you may well, if you're trying to find it, you may well be able to get it on other sites like uh, Black Swan. Um, so give them a try. After all, I think it was through their endeavours that it has come to market. Um, and they've certainly had some kind of involvement in that process. Um, so there we go. Thanks, everybody. Catch you on the next one.